Damn, I left my window open. And my fucking sunroof. I'm tripping. Okay. Oh, yeah. Huh. For sure. We got a brick house. I mean, a wood house with a brick under the windows. We're gonna kill that shit. Brody. Boy, tamed that cat already. Was it sitting there? Hey, let's go home. Come on. Throw him in the truck. Sheesh. through the big now we drill through the brick now we uh covering it up what's good y'all i just got back home um right now i'm about to pack up this order for a customer and i'm about to drop it off at the post office shower um i still gotta edit upload so i'll have to do that sometime today but today uh my sister's graduating from college so i'm going to her she's gonna walk the stage today so I'm going to that, and that should be fun. So yeah, I'm gonna take y'all with me, and I'll keep y'all updated. Yes, sir. Not that motherfucker ready to go. I lost my keys, ladies and gentlemen. Bro. I just had the most stressful evening in my motherfucking life, bro. So, boom. I think the last time I even fucking picked up the vlog was, um, I think it was before I even edited my video or even hopped in the shower. So, whatever, boom. I make that little clip. I edit the video, hop in the shower, make sure it's uploaded. <clears throat> and then, um, like I said, I had my sister's graduation thing at 6. So, I got to pick up my mom and my nieces at, like, 5.30 to make it there at 6. You know what I mean? So, boom, before I pick up my mom, I'm like, oh, I'm about to go to cut food so I can freaking, um... Get some flowers and balloons, you know, it's graduation. I got to do my part. Go to the cut foods, get out of my car, hit the button on my motherfucking door, right? Because it's a keyless entry. So I hit the button and then it locks. And if my key fob's in the car, it's supposed to not lock, which happens. Like, it happens to me all the time. Nine times out of ten, that shit won't lock if my key's in the car. I bought the car, boom, click the button, and it locks. I'm like, okay, cool. I got my key. Go inside, grab the flowers, grab the balloons, come outside. And then as soon as I put my hand on my fucking handle, it's supposed to open, right? Hand on the handle, boom, doesn't open. I'm what? Hand on the handle, boom, doesn't open. I'm like, oh no, man. I put the flowers on top of my car, put the balloons down, check my pockets, boom, boom. I'm like, car goes down. Every, every single pocket. I'm like, whoa, where are my keys, bro? I can't find them, bro. So I leave everything right where it was, bro. The flowers, the balloons. I go back inside, trace all my steps, uh, go back to the car I was at, go to fucking customer service. I'm like, yo, did anybody turn in any keys? Nope. I'm like, oh my God, I'm tripping, bro. And, my, and then, on top of everything, my phone was on 1%, bro. So I'm like, well, now I'm not, I'm not even gonna pull out my phone to do nothing, not even to unlock it or nothing, bro. So I'm literally sitting there stuck for like five minutes, bro. And all of a sudden, my mom calls me, bro. Fucking thank the Lord my mom calls me, bro. Because she calls me and I pick up. Boom. 
and I explained her everything, everything I heard fast as hell. And she's like, well, shoot, then I guess I'll just pick you up. And then as soon as she said, I guess I'll just pick you up, the phone dies. I'm like, oh my God, bro. Like, hopefully she knows what cup foods I'm at. Cause, Cause I got one right by my house and then there's one right by my mom's house in St. Paul. I'm in Minneapolis. So I'm like, hopefully she knows what cup foods at. So that when, when my phone dies, I'm like, whatever, I'm just gonna trace my steps again. I trace my steps, go back to the counter, nothing, customer service, nothing. Walk back outside and then Luckily, my mom was out there, picked me up, went to the graduation, got there late. It was supposed to be there at 6. We got there at 6.30, did the whole graduation thing, and then it ended, and it was like 9 o'clock, bro. It ended. And then we went back to the parking ramp. Went back to the parking ramp, hopped on my mom's car. First thing I did was, um, the first thing I did was freaking go back to my apartment. I'm like, okay, maybe somehow I dropped my keys, and, um, like, you know, I dropped my keys, and my car was still able to turn on because, like, it was, like, close enough. Went back, traced all my steps from inside the house to back down here. Nothing, bro. And then I'm like, okay. Well, maybe someone turned them in at Cup Foods already. Went back to Cup Foods, customer service, nothing. And I seen the same cart pusher, cart pusher there. I asked him, nothing. I'm like, damn, man. So, I had to call locksmiths, bro. They freaking opened my car, whatever fucking big shit they did. And my keys were right on my motherfucking door handle, bro. Can you fucking believe that shit, bro? The shit is not supposed to lock if my key fob is in the car. I don't know what I did to who, but the shit, was, the shit just didn't turn on, bro. I mean, the shit just locked. Like, why would you lock if you're in my, if my key's in my car? Why would it lock? This shit don't make no sense, bro. I spent 140 bucks for the motherfucker to open my car in 30 seconds. Really, motherfucker? That's my rant for the day, bro. That's all I got for y'all. I ain't got nothing else, bro. I got nothing for nobody, bro. That's all I got. End of the day, man. Here goes nothing. Six. Let's go. Told her goodbye and I blew her kiss. Pull me a phone and I spit on my kick. I hate when they try to tell me what a fix. I cannot go if I can't be the blick. Pop me a pedal relief, I feel. Guess you can say I don't know how to heal. Remember them days I ain't had no place.